I'm with the former bantamweight champion Aljamain Sterling who got victorious tonight in the featherweight division and how did it feel in your new weight class? Did you feel more energized as you were talking about? I definitely felt better physically but um, I think the nerves got the better of me in the back room but it, it kind of went away as the fight started to go on and I was like man I, I belong at this weight class this is where I should have been a while ago and uh, I, I look forward to see what I could do I just want to polish up a couple of things because I think the nerves kind of took over and it, it really just made me a little bit more reserved but then also Calvin was doing some good things in there defensively so respect to his game as well. When you talk about feeling those nerves, what more so than when you've had bantamweight title fights, what, where did the extra nerves come from? I think it's just the weight class change, uh, the size difference, the unknown. Obviously, you see 300, a whole lot of people in the, <laughs> in the stadium, in the arena watching. Usually, the prelims in Vegas, the crowds are still empty till the main car starts, you know, so to have that many people in there watching, it was like, oh man, this is a big, this is a big moment, you know, so I want to capitalize on it as much as I could, and thankfully, I was able to come out on the right side of the, uh, the performance tonight. You did indeed. And when you talk about the weight difference, you're not used to fighting fighters taller than you. But did you feel any weight difference between yourself and Calvin? Uh, nah, I felt like the weight was relatively similar. At least when he was defending and I put my weight on him, I didn't really feel like I was out-muscled, out-gunned in any position, which I was surprised because I felt like he did really well with Zabit. And Zabit's a guy I spar with back in 2017, and I didn't know who he was. And he actually knocked me out in the room. Um, so to see him do so well, that, that gave some extra nerves. I was like, man, back your mind, yeah, yeah, I was like, <laughs> I remember what he did to me. But I was also smaller back then. I didn't know what Zabit was good at and caught me by surprise. Um, threw like a 360 spinning kick. Um, but then fast forward a couple of years, you know, I've grown, matured, gotten better. I build myself up. I'm a little bit bigger now, stronger now, and things are a little bit different. So. I guess as the fight got going, I kind of get a little bit more confidence as we start to feel each other out a little bit. No ditty. Well, you certainly look good. <laughs> I love it. You certainly <laughs> looked good in there. And you talked in the build-up to this fight that, you know, potentially with a win, leapfrogging up the division and getting the shot against Ilya Tapuria. Obviously, um, Volk's probably likely to have that rematch. But do you feel your performance would be worthy of putting your name in the hat for uh, whether it's next or next after potentially Volk getting the rematch? Uh, I mean, I definitely think it's a strong performance but in terms of cutting the line if I'm being honest I don't think that's enough to cut the line um, I, I, I know where I'm at right now I think I would definitely need one more win maybe two just kind of see how things shake out between Ilya when they find the arena for them to fight at in Spain and kind of go from there it is exciting though to have new names and new challenges in a, in a new division are there any names amongst the top of the division that are like they're fun fights for me or they're good stylistic matchups for me yeah, there's a lot of fun fights. I mean, of course, you got T-City coming off a big yeah. win in that rematch with uh, Yair Rodriguez, barn burner fight. There's obviously Yair Rodriguez. There's Josh Emmett. Um, a lot of big names. Mosa Evloev, Arnold Allen. And I think I'm right in the, the thick of it, you know. I, I don't think any of one of those guys could do anything that I can't do. Um, I'm not saying it's going to be an easy fight, but I, I like to say I like my chances. And you've said you're not here to just take part in this division. You're here to get to the top, look at titles. So how active do you want to be? Do you feel like, okay, now I kind of need to press the fast forward button and, and sort of catapult myself up this, this division in the weight class? Or are you going to take your time, grow into the division? Uh, yes and no. I, I kind of want to just see where the division's at and then see who's fighting who. Talk with the UFC brass and my, management, my uh, manager and um, see what they have on the landscape, what's possibly on the table and... If there's something that makes sense, I'll jump back in. If I need a little bit of time to kind of let things play out, uh, you know, I'll take the time and let things play out. Like It's going to be easier for me to make the weight, even though it's still a tough weight cut. Yeah. And people think 35 was easy. Man, that was like, a, it's walking around 70, 74, and getting down to 135 pounds. It was not easy. You know, that takes a lot of time and dedication. And now 45, it still takes a lot of time and dedication. <laughs> and I was like, just now realizing this is still going to be a tough cut for me. And I still walk around the same weight. What's that? Um, 70, 74. Yeah. I'm still just as big. Mm -hmm. um, so with that said, you know, I, I think it for sure be more active. It just depends. On, I'm not looking to just take fights just to take fights. I want to take fights that matter for the division. Fun fights, yeah. fights that the fans are going to get behind, fights that matter for the division, because eventually I like to fight for the belt one more time and uh, before I close this chapter on my life. All right. Well, you got off to a good start tonight. Congratulations once again. Go enjoy the rest of the card and thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. See you guys soon.